Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos we are working on various labs that you should be doing for to prepare for AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All of these labs are available in GitHub and I'll give you the link at the end of the video. In this particular lab, we're going to start lab 08 which is Manage Virtual Machines and uh, we'll work on this the first tab task in this video which is deploying the zone resilient Azure virtual machines by using Azure portal and an Azure resource manager template so first we'll deploy the first machine using the Azure portal and for the next virtual machine we're going to use the template that we have used for the first one and deploy the second one so let's get to it uh, we'll go to the Azure portal and we'll search for the virtual machines and then we'll create click on add to create a new machine so let's go to our Azure instance look for the virtual machines and once you are there here is your add button click on add and we're going to configure it the way uh, it's specified in this lab so our specific resource group will create new here's our resource group uh, we'll specify the virtual machine name Here's the East US supports uh, availability zone and we're going to use the zone 1 for this particular machine and we're going to choose Windows Server 2019 so if you click on here from the drop down choose that one uh, Azure Spot instance is no we're going to use D2S V3 D2S V3 is already selected uh, username and password we're gonna pick up from the student user over here and the password and confirm the password uh, then public inbound port we're gonna say no we don't need any public inbound port and uh, then already have a Windows license no I don't next let's go to the disk on the disk we're going to switch to the standard disk usually it always is defaults to the premium so we're going to go to standard HDD and disk compatibility alerts we said no okay next let's go to the networking in the networking uh, we're going to specify the network name and that name is exactly what is specified over here so we'll just override the address is not what we want so we're gonna go we're gonna get rid of the address that is suggested by Azure we'll put that one and uh, for the subnet we're also gonna uh, assign the subnet 0 and we're gonna use a subset of the IP addresses so if you notice the overall virtual network will have uh, 4096 addresses and this particular subnet will have 256 addresses and as a matter of fact only 251 addresses will be useful okay so hit ok to finish the configuration then go to uh, the networking let's go to public we make sure that click ok to get back to the networking tab and leave the other settings As default values but make sure public IP is none let me see where is my public IP do I have a public IP none so I don't want any public IP for this one okay and the NIC security group is none where is NIC security group NIC security group I don't want any security group and accelerated networking is off so that's good place this for two machine behind existing load balancer no so it's not gonna create any kind of public IP address for this particular virtual machine okay so once that is done uh, let's go to the next one which is the management tab and in here we're gonna turn on the boot diagnostics which is already on uh, diagnostic storage account uh, we're gonna just create a new one and uh, let's call it let's 
call it I'm gonna copy this where are we we are manage management over here so we're gonna call this and uh, and I'll just say store and storage accounts cannot have any special characters so I'll get rid of this special characters from here so that's gonna be our st store you can say storage if you like just to be more clear and hit ok so that's our storage uh, let's see is anything else I need no I don't need anything else so let's go to the advanced advanced we are not doing anything so we'll just uh, do the review and once the review is completed oh wow it's charging a lot of money per hour so we can't use this for very long so let's <laughs> let's create this one we just have to make sure to get rid of these machines as soon as we are done with the lab so this is deploying and while it's uh, deploying we can go to the templates and and that's the next phase so this deploy is going on uh, from the custom deployment blade we are uh, specified the following so uh, we, we just clicked on the template right from the de temp template here's the deploy button so we can click on that to start the deployment of the next machine we're gonna choose the same resource group location we're gonna skip the same uh, now network interface name for this one we're gonna use this uh, subnet is zero virtual machine name we're gonna change virtual network name virtual machine name we're gonna change it to VM1 admin password is this storage is the same storage zone we're gonna deploy to zone 2 uh, I'm trying to see if the pub public IP address is assigned anywhere it shouldn't have because we have already disabled the public IP address uh, for the first machine so looks everything looks good so we have configured this 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 virtual machine name network for interface card name make sure that we have already configured yes we have so at this time we can just click on purchase uh, it says fix errors on this page so let's see so are you we got to agree uh, to the terms and conditions once that's done you can hit on purchase and that should start the deployment of the next machine you can click over here to see the details of the deployment for the first one or for the next one and by the way I think I shot the first one the deployment was successful and you can go to you can click on go to resource to go to the first virtual machine that we have deployed using the Azure portal and that's what it is and we since we have not specified any public IP there is nothing in there we have the private IP address in this machine that is assigned to assigned to us so we have now completed uh, down to 14 steps in task 1 so that's uh, pretty much the end of the video I can wait a couple of second just to uh, make sure that uh, uh, our our deployment is successful but uh, th that's all I want to cover in this video so we'll, we'll see you uh, in the in the following video in the next video where we're gonna start and configure uh, the virtual machine extensions together so uh, thank you for watching the video if you like it please subscribe and give us give me a thumbs up thumbs up and share with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck with the exam.